Welcome to MSMC eClass, our new Moodle online learning management system. The Office of Distance Education is happy to announce the release of the new eClass online learning system. eClass is the new name that has been given to the old Moodle online learning management system. In addition, eClass has been going through some major upgrade transformation, and this upgrade transformation is a direct result of the collaborative effort of the Information Technology Department along with the Office of Distance Education. The purpose of this video tutorial is to illustrate to you the differences and similarities between eClass and Moodle. The same way how you upload content, video, files, and so on in Moodle, it's the same way how you're going to upload content, video, files, multimedia into eClass. Again, the purpose of this tutorial is to illustrate to you how to access your online course or courses via the new eClass system, the login process, user accounts, new course category structure under eClass, course enrollment, how to request an online course, and how to request support. So let's get started. So how will you access your online course or courses via the new eClass system? Well, there's three methods that you can use to access eClass. The first method is by actually visiting mymsmc.edu. Once you access your portal, you will see a Moodle logo here, which eventually is going to change to eClass. The second method, and it's my preferred method, is by visiting the Office of Distance Education website. Once you launch that website, you scroll down to the bottom of the page and you will see a Moodle link. Once again, this Moodle link is going to change to eClass. And why is this my preferred method? Well, that's because there's additional resource that you will can find in the Office of Distance Education website, such as announcements, trainings, quick links. Within the quick links uh, section, there's a way that you can actually submit a request to create a new uh, online course. In addition, you can actually register for workshops and participate in trainings. The third method that you can use to access eClass is by actually visiting the, the URL directly, which is eclass.msmc.edu. Regardless of the method that you use, you will all be taken to the login authentication process. Using your on-campus user ID and password credentials, you will type that into the screen name and password and you will sign in. Once you sign in, you will immediately be presented with the eClass learning management system. Once you have access to the new eClass system, you notice immediately the, some differences with the old Moodle system. The look and feel in terms of the design of the page has changed a bit. However, the structure of the eClass system is identical to the structure to the Moodle system. In other words, you will see your blocks on the left and right hand side, and you also see the content in the middle of the page. But one most critical difference is that you're going to find is that the course category has changed. The course category now has been restructured to a more user-friendly approach. Courses are now organized by session. If I click on Accelerated for You, you will notice that only the courses that are being offered within that session is what you're going to see listed. One thing that I also wanted to point out, which is one of the highlights of the ENU eClass system, is that every student, faculty, and staff has automatically a user ID and password to access eClass. In addition, when students actually register for an online course, they will immediately be enrolled in the, cor in the corresponding course in the eClass system. In other words, when students actually access their course, or the faculty will access their course, they will notice under participants that there is going to be a list of all the students that are enrolled. There's no longer a need to actually manually enroll the students into your course, which is one of the great benefits. So now let's move on how to request an online course. The Office of Distance Education, along with the Registrar's Office, has developed a new procedure for faculty members who has an interest in creating a blended online course. This new procedure entails for faculty members to visit the Distance Education website 
and under Quick Link, click on Moodle Course Request Form. Faculty members will then be required to complete this form and click the Submit button. Once the Office of Distance Education received this request, it will immediately proceed to creating the course and adding the proper codes in the Registrar System, or Gensabar. Accessing support for eClass. There's two methods that you can use for support. One is you can visit the Office of the Distance Education website, and within the website, you're going to find, like, as mentioned before, a whole bunch of resources. You can actually submit a request form for support under the quick links, or you can email us at msmconline at msmc.edu, as well as call at 845-569-3457 or 845-569-3458 which is the main support hotline. In addition, the second method that you can use for support is visiting the IT Help Desk website. In the IT website you can actually submit a, a ticket or email the help desk at msmc.edu as well as call the help desk number at 845-569-3491. This concludes this brief introduction to MSMC E-Class. I hope this video tutorial has been informative and I thank you for viewing.